Hi everyone, my name is Su Yuan. I'm from Momo Central and on demand tech talent platform. I would like to ask how many people here have tried hiring a freelancer before? Okay, how many of you had bad experiences? How many of you have great experiences? Okay, the great was very few compared to the bad. So yes, uh, we started out three years ago as your typical development agency or design house in Singapore where you know clients come in, give us their requests, we would come up with a feature set, a spec sheet, timeline, a quote, and then the clients say, okay, we'll disappear for three months, get a job done, and come back. And along the way, to keep costs low, we started outsourcing. But when we outsourced to places around Asia, we found, wow, the quality could be either really great or really, really bad. And so we were like, this is not going to work out. Let's find a way to find our own remote contractors. And so with this, me and my co-founder, we put out a job app, right, in a job portal. And what happened? 300 resumes came back. And we were like, oh my god, I can't read all these 300 resumes. And most of them are fake. You know, how do I even know if this is real? So we're like, okay, enough of this crap. We built our own programming language and then built our own code test system to test everyone who wants to apply to our company. And from there, we found that 95% of people fail our code test, even though it was really, really simple. And we found our 5% of hires who were really good. And they ended up becoming our in-house remote employees. And along the way, we faced many, many challenges with working with a fully remote team that we've never met. But along the way, we also came up with all these processes to create a very in-house experience with a fully remote team. And so things were going well. Uh, we were profitable. Um, almost every MNC in the Asian region were hiring from us. What will happen? Okay. But anyway, then our startup friends came to us and said, hey, how are you guys hiring remotely? You know, how does it work? And we you know, help our friends by giving them a list of rules to follow. And they still couldn't do it. And we didn't know why. And we thought maybe there's something in our processes and our code test system that works. And if you were a startup today, and you went to an agency to try to get something built, they would charge you an arm and a leg. Because they're adding on all these agency fees, project management fees, which honestly as a startup, sometimes you don't need. You just need the designer or developer to work with you or your CTO directly to get things done. And so with that, we launched our platform, which is called Momo Central, where we comb the world, the Asian region, the European region, um, US, everywhere, Southern America, for the high quality developers who can code well. And we put them all on this platform. To create the in-house experience, we let clients book developers and designers by time. So you can come to the platform, book someone, say, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. At 9 a.m., they come online, work on anything you want, including screen shares, conference calls, you own all the source code from day one, the design work from day one. 5 p.m., they stop, and you're just built for eight hours of their time. This worked out really well for um, tech startups because sometimes you just need a manpower for a month or two just to build something really quickly. Um, we built a lot of things for a lot of clients, including, um, well, you know, your typical e-commerce site, corporate website. Uh, we've even done touch table kiosks, hardware projects, and also um, projects for drones. Yes. You're wondering how to do it remotely? Well, we managed to make it work remotely. Uh, to give you an idea how it works, um, companies just come in, put in their requests. Sometimes they are very technical, you know, they can write very technical descriptions, which is great. But sometimes, you know, um, they're not very good at writing technical descriptions. So what we do is we actually assign a human talent manager to every client who puts in a request. Because sometimes clients come in and say, hey, I want to build a mobile app. But they don't realize we actually need a web backend developer, a designer to do screen by screen mockups first to make sure developers build things accurately. And so that's where our talent manager comes in. Think of our talent manager as like a temporary CTO you know, a lead engineer who can advise on what's the best approach and which talents to work with the best. We will then match talents to you. Um, you can actually see like all sorts of talents. Um, someone wanted a designer or UX designer to design property <coughs> portals, so we matched a few guys from like one guy from Pakistan, another guy from Canada, another guy from Malaysia, France, 
you know, and you can click into all their profiles to see um, all their history portfolio, which has all been verified by us. So we actually show portfolio from Momo Central, which we can vouch for, and anything they did, their work experience outside. This is how we bypass the scammy portfolio issue that is very rampant in this industry. And you know, once we match you to this talent, you can actually choose who you want to interview. You can even talk to them, exchange messages. Um, we don't practice any lock-in. You can add them to your Slack, your Trello, your task management systems. It's very open. On top of that, um, some Y Combinator startups uh, work with the freelancers, some senior engineers, they love them so much, they actually pay us a 5k finder's fee to buy them over as their direct employee. Yes, we encourage that, we advocate that, and um, as a result, we found that many companies have been using this as a way to find their own in-house team eventually. Because get to work with them as freelancers first, see if you like them before eventually you make them a job offer. And thank you. Yeah, sorry, question over there. How much of your sourcing talent is here in the United States? Or local um, quite, Silicon Valley? Okay, so we have quite a lot of people from the Silicon Valley Bay Area. Um, to date, we have 350 talents on our platform from around the world, and 230 tech companies hiring on the platform. Yes? How much is your markup? Uh, our markup is only 15% out of which PayPal and the banks eat 5% of it. Yeah, we're trying to keep our markup as low as possible so that you know, most of the money goes to the freelancer and the client doesn't end up paying too much for our markups as well. And how much a client is? So whatever the, the developer needs to pay anything? Uh, no, whatever price you see is already including our markup. So we don't take anything from the developer. It's very transparent to the client and the developer how much we are taking. Yes. Well, I'm sure you know of Gigster. Yes, I know Gigster. And, uh, they make sure that their clients don't talk to the developers directly <laughs> to avoid the process. Because you know, even if you have a finder's fee, a lot of the times a client, if they know the developer, they can actually just bypass you. And uh, like, what do you do to accommodate that? And also, how do you see yourself competing with the Gigster network? Uh, all right, uh, I can't speak for Gigster because I'm not them, but we've been told by our clients that our rates are much lower because we're not marking up for any project management or agency fees. And a lot of clients and talents themselves are more than willing to let us have that markup because we provide a lot of protection. If anything goes wrong, you can immediately tell our talent manager and our te technical directors actually go in and investigate the line-by-line -line code. We also handle any um, processes of paperwork that is involved with cross-country uh, money transfers. If you know right now, uh, transferring money overseas to some parts of Asia or say Middle East is very <coughs> sticky for some banks. And the banks will require a ton of paperwork from you before the transfer even goes through. And we have already built all the operations and processes and verifications to make that as smooth as possible. So all you do is come to this platform, <coughs> see who you want to work with. The hourly rates are very transparent. Um, you just try to make payment to a U.S. company and we will get the money to the developer. Uh, I guess, how do you account for making sure that the talent that you have doesn't go to the clients without you getting the fee? That yeah, so we do have uh, terms and conditions and agreements for that, yeah. How the system is different from Upwork or any freelancing? <laughs> how is the system different from Upwork? Well, Anyone can go on Upwork and say, I'm a designer, or I'm a developer. How good this designer or developer is, no one would know. On our platform, everyone is interviewed, uh, online trial code test, then they're video interviewed, so we can ensure their internet connection and their English communication is good, because some parts around the world, the internet is not the most stable. After that, we do a <coughs> code test in the video interview to make sure this is the guy who did our online code test. And after that, we will do a project test. The project test is for us to determine if this guy is a follower or a leader. Some clients, they come in, they're looking for a follower talent. So we will assign them a follower. Some, they're looking for someone who is more of a leader to take charge of the project and lead the development and advise along the way. Yes? What's your sweet spot for clients? And then also with those clients, what's like the average engagement length? OK, um, so first we thought that our target market was only tech startups because we don't provide any project manager, neither do we charge project management fees. And tech startups, 
love this uh, model because it can hire developers for say one week, sometimes one month, two months, pause, and then come back the third month and hire again. So from a cost perspective, it's very good, and it's a good temporary measure until you find your own in-house employee. Um, over time, however, we realized that there's all these lawyers and bankers, or even like a retail shop owner coming on board to do e-commerce websites. And what we found is, if you assign a senior designer or developer to say layman, non-technical clients, the senior developer and designers can actually guide the client very well. Uh, one more time for one more question. Yes. Do you have any people on the platform for doing creative, like 3D modeling or animation, things like that? Yes, we actually have quite a lot of game developers and game animators as well. Um, over time, we somehow got hardware engineers, like HoloLens engineers out of Microsoft Seattle R&D lab. Um, some of them have left their jobs at Microsoft and are now freelancing on our platform doing a bunch of HoloLens projects for a bunch of clients. All right, thank you.